Welcome to Altair Engineering Training and Support. The topic uh, which I am going to cover on this video is Roll Cage. How to create 1D meshing to a roll cage structure that I am going to cover in this video. So let's start our session. Open Hypermesh uh, 12 version 12 select the appropriate user profile I have selected user profile as radios bulk data then the next step to create 1D meshing using hypermesh there are two three ways available to create 1D meshing uh, in hypermesh so in this video I am going to show you one of the most uh, easiest and simplest way to create 1D meshing with the line CAD model so if you have a line structure model of a roll cage then how you can create 1D meshing so first uh, import that line CAD model in uh, export them or save as uh, those CAD line models in IGS format and then uh, once you open the hypermesh click on import and select the file type uh, click on the import icon in import icon then select the file type as IGES because for the structure I have IGES format file then the next step is to click on folder option browse folder to select the location to import the file so I'll click on browse folder select the roll cage line data dot IGS file and click on open and keeping all the other parameters as default that is a scale factor as one cleanup tool as automatic I'll click import then I'll close model browser so now you can see my line data of the entire roll cage has been imported So now we will move towards the next point of this video that is how to create 1D meshing or 1D elements for the entire geometry at once. In hypermesh you will find some unique and interesting features in which it will we can create 1D meshing quite easily using hypermesh so I will show you how we can do that. So it is always better to check the elements quality and connectivity for the uh, every time we, we can check the meshing types element quality that's why uh, hypermesh is the most preferable tool in nowadays automobile industry because in hypermesh you can the mesh quality is very important and you can improve the mesh quality in hypermesh UI so it's better always try to check the mesh connectivity and quality so that also I will show you in this video so for that we will go first with the creating cross-sectional diameter that is cross-sectional area of my 1D beam element so for the roll case structure I am going to use a hollow cross-section so I will create a thin wall tube selecting a cross-section so for that uh, in hypermesh you will find one more different panel so to enter that uh, you can select to 1D page in 1D page click on hyper beam to enter to hyperbeam panel through which you can uh, provide cross sectional area or you can define the cross sectional area or cross section of your uh, 1D element so click on hyperbeam in hyperbeam select the standard section radio button then select the standard section library as hyperbeam and standard section type as thin wall tube So select the standard section radio button from the drop box select hyper beam as standard section library because we have a predefined uh, hyper beam library where our different types of cross sections are already defined you have to just input some of the values to that and it will create a cross section accordingly so for my structure the type of uh, 
cross section I am going to define is a thin wall tube that is a hollow uh, cross section so I will select thin walled tube and then click on create so once I click create it will redirect me to hyper beam GUI here I have to just provide the inner and outer radius then it will automatically calculate the area for this particular cross section centroidal moment of inertia polar uh, and radius of gyration then shear center principal shear forces everything uh, it calculates automatically by its own and will input the required data as per my type of analysis and requirement so first of all uh, I will enter the radius as 12.7 and inner radius I will enter as 11.2 so this is the cross section I am going to create for this cross section I am going to create 1D elements you can change the cross section as per your requirement so the the cross section of the inner and outer radius of your pipe you can enter it from here to simulate the actual practical problem then once you define this you can see here it has calculated the area moment of inertia, centroidal, principal, planes so it has calculated everything now I will assign this to create 1D element so I will again go to hypermesh GUI and assign them and create 1D element using this cross section so click on that icon to move towards the 1D to hypermesh GUI then click return to return uh, exit the hyperbeam panel so in model browser you can find here the hyperbeam has been created so if you click plus it, will, it has created an hyperbeam cross section now my next step is to create material and property for my 1D element so to create material I will click on material icon I will define the material as steel giving appropriate color the type of material I am using as isotropic then define the card type as mat1 then I will click create edit and enter the values of E, new and row then click return to exit the material collector card edit and then again click return to material collector icon so in this way I have defined the material for my roll case structure then the next step I will define the property for my roll case structure that is the physical property for my roll case structure so to define the physical properties of my roll case structure I will go to property collector icon so I will click on property collector icon make sure the radio button create is selected I will enter the property name as roll cage 1D select an appropriate color define the type of the 1D element I am going to use as 1D then select the card image as P beam that is we are going to use beam elements to create uh, 1D elements for the entire roll, roll cage define the material which I have created earlier in the earlier step the material which I have created I will define it here and then I will define the beam section which I have created in hyper beam GUI so I have defined all the things then I will click on create edit and I will check the required data which software will require to simulate 1D beam element so it, it will require area and all the parameters which is required it automatically takes from hyper beam uh, GUI so then I will click return and again I will click return to exit the property collector icon so from here you can see the property has been created now my next step is to create 1D elements so to create 1D elements in hypermesh we have a unique feature called line mesh through which you can create 1D element at once by selecting all the lines so that I will show you in this video so to enter to line mesh panel go to 1D page on 1D page you will find line mesh panel so click on line mesh 
on line mesh make sure the lines option are selected there are two options through which you can create the meshing that is nodes and lines so make sure the line option is selected enter the element size as 50 so it will create a element of length 50 make sure the toggle is set to segment in whole seg whole line so it will create a segments of 50 50 50 for the whole line select the elemental uh, element configuration as bar 2 so it will create a beam bar 2 elements in bar 2 we have bar elements as well as beam elements then select the appropriate property which we have created earlier so click on the property and select the pro proper property make sure the auto segment here is selected that is we don't want to define the vectors components and nodes to create uh, what the elements we directly create by auto then click on line and say displayed so it will select all the lines which are displayed on the GUI again I will show you click on lines and click on display to select all the displayed lines of the GUI and then click on mesh once you click on mesh it will create the 1D mesh for the entire domain then click return to accept this meshing again click return to exit the line mesh panel so now you can see it has created the 1D meshing 1D elements I will change the color of the component it will create a new component for 1D elements which contains the 1D elements so I will off the geometry component from here so I will hide the geometry of the model and on only the meshing which is which it has created now my next step is to define and to check whether the cross section is defined on it on the on all the elements or not so in hypermesh you can easily see the 3d representation of 1d or 2d element also so to view the 3d representation of 1d element you can go to click on element uh, traditional element representation and select the drop box and select 3d element representation so this is the 3d element representation so in this way you can see the elements are the 1D elements in 3D representation. So if I mask any one element to check the uh, whether the cross section is appropriate or not. So I will go to mask panel, click on mask icon, select the radio button as mask. Then from the drop box I will select an element. I will pick the element and say mask then I will say reverse so it will only show me that one particular element so if I rotate this one element so you can see it is a hollow cross section so if I move it to a traditional it is a line which is the actual representation of 1D element but in hypermesh you can find a 3D representation of 1D element is as it is shown here so you can see it is a perfect cross section then I will again click on unmask all so in this way I can do the meshing for my 1D element entire structure now I will check whether my elements are connected or not so I will click return to mask panel then to check the elemental connectivity I will go to tools page on tools page click on check elements I will again show you to check the elemental connectivity go to tools page check elements select 1D radio button and click on free 1D's once you click on free 1D's if any of the 1D element is not connected properly it will show you the message here but on this model I am as all my 1D elements are properly connected so it's showing 0 1D element found with 0 free ends so all the elements are connected all the 1D elements are connected with each other properly so I will click return to exit the check elements panel so in this way uh, I have ended with the tutorial for 1D meshing of a roll cage